Okay, all right. Just kind of again, I'm just winging this here. Okay, so four months, four months off of the uh, Clonopin Topo Chico. Here we go. Sorry, I'm like legit thirsty right now too. So, okay, yeah, four months off of the uh, almost said off the Topo Chico. That'll oh god, that'll never freaking happen. I don't know if I'd be able to make videos. I'd be withdrawn so hard. That'd be the thing that'd finally stump me. Like I, I've done benzos, I've done Suboxone, but. Topo Chico, I don't think so. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, four months off the clonazepam. I'll try to just, I don't know. I'll just tell you what I'm dealing with and kind of what's been helping. So there you go. So four months out. Uh, the acute, you know, wasn't, because I tapered right. You know, I jumped off at the point, point zero six two five. Um, you know, tapered down from one milligram. Took me about nine months to get down to the, sorry, I don't know, one milligram, <laughs> I'm so, oh yeah, here we go, my mind uh, and stuff like that. That's a big thing that I've been dealing with with benzo crap. So uh, I'm just drawing a blank right now, actually, too. What was I saying? I was talking about my taper. This is really the main, this is the main thing that I'm dealing with is just like my effing mind, dude. Just like I lose my train of thought. This is another weird thing. Like sometimes it's like, I don't know what to say. Does that make sense? And I'm never like that. I mean, I'm never, ever like that. I, I could see that really affecting some people because uh, it affects me some and I'm so opposite with that. So if you're kind of an introvert or just kind of, you know, just some people have some social anxiety or something or, or stuff like that. I, I could really see that being an issue big time. Um, but like explaining things and like trying to go back and like, like if I'm going to explain some detailed thing or something, I just, it gets hard for me anyway. But yeah, forgetfulness and all that. But, uh, but yeah, okay. So I took about nine months to taper from one milligram to the 0 0.0625. So I jumped off of that four months ago. Okay. Uh, but the acute really wasn't that bad. You know, I document it. You guys know. I documented all that and, uh, you know, dealt with some stuff. And I was re that's the thing. You prepare for the effing worst. Don't, don't, you know, just why, well, Gabe handled it, right? That'll be me or something. No, ex expect hell. Expect hell so then when purgatory happens, it won't be as bad or what. I don't know, however you want to look at it. I don't know. Um, but, but you know what I mean? You, I, I know I say that all. I've said that so much in videos is you got to prepare for the worst. And let it surprise you when it's not as bad. Or if it is as bad, guess what? You prepared for it, you know? So, but uh, but yeah, the post-acute withdrawals uh, have been a little bit more difficult. Not terrible, though. I mean, that's the thing is like, yes, it's not, it's not, uh, I'm not having just a fabulous time, you know? Uh, you know, it's not like, you know, I want to do this next summer too, you know? But uh but overall, it's it's doable, okay? It, it has affected my life in ways, like I said, dude, my, you know, my performance at work has gone down. I just can't remember stuff. I'm more scattered. I'm a little bit slower, you know, at things. But but honestly, like, uh, it is what it is. It's not, yeah, it's not like I can't do my job at all or, or something like that. Yeah, you guys know I don't enjoy, I don't love my job uh, that much. But yeah, there you go. I don't love my job, but getting through it. You know what I mean? Like you can do it. You know what I mean? I, I took a cut my first couple weeks off of work when I, when I got off of it, didn't even need to do that. I, I regretted doing that, wasting my freaking vacation. Uh, but I did it. And, uh, uh, so really I, I could, I could have worked through the whole thing, you know, and I understand like if you're jumping off at a higher dose on, of something, uh, you know, benz benzos are one of those things you got to taper. I mean, you know, you got to taper anyway, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, the stuff I'm dealing with, not a ton of anxiety, just some here and there. No, nothing out of the normal. That's just me. I, I have anxiety. I deal with anxiety. I deal with, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I am a, I'm bipolar. You know, I've been diagnosed bipolar, manic depressive. Like, so there's ups and downs. I don't, I, I do not know if people deal with ups and downs with getting off benzos. I know I've said this before, like, hey, if, if you, if you, Deal with the ups and downs off coming off benzos. Leave it in the comment section. No one's ever left that in the comment section yet. Uh, so that might just be me. That's the thing. I'm documenting this, but everyone's different. There's like underlining things though. Like, oh, sleep. Sleep is sucked. It's not like I just don't get any, but I just don't sleep good. I don't sleep good. Um, I haven't been sleeping good for a while, you know. 
uh, getting off the Suboxone. And then, you know, after a year off the Suboxone, I started tapering pretty good on the Klonopin. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, ironing this out, getting my life back, it, it's a process, whatever. But, yeah, so that does suck. That that really does suck. Some nights I sleep better than others, though. It's not like it's it's never great. But, um, like, I don't I don't get eight hours and stuff like that anymore. You know what I mean? Like, that's just kind of gone. Which, whatever, you you, you kind of learn, you know, I've said this before, coming off Suboxone and everything. Like, you, you do learn to just... Uh, you, you learn to live without as much sleep, you know, when I was taking a bunch of benzos and a bunch of opiates and stuff. Yeah, dude, I'd, I'd sleep, I'd sleep pretty good at night. You know, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I didn't sleep bad very often unless I, uh, ran out of stuff and I was dope sick, you know? Uh, so that just comes with the, that comes with the turf, dude. That comes with it. That, like, that's, that's something you pencil out or you, you prepare for. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to sleep great. You can do it. You can, you can power through it. It's not like, you know, it, you don't get any, I mean, yes, if you, everyone's a little different though, but, but yeah, I'm saying, just saying like, you're going to deal with sleep things. I'm dealing with sleep things still. Okay. Um, some depression things and it kind of, it's not like there's just like this depression just every day or something. It, it's, it is kind of there. I'm fighting it every day. I got to do things to, to battle that, you know, exercising, reading my Bible, praying, uh, all that stuff it, that, that, and, you know, that's, that's really what it is. That's what I got. That's what I got in the, in the arsenal, you know, that that's, and, uh, it helps big time. Uh, but, uh, but you're, I'm still dealing with stuff. There's just things that I can't just, you know what I mean? There's, it's not just like a magic trick. Um, but, uh, and sometimes it can be real ne negative towards yourself. I struggle with that anyway, but, uh, it's, it's something that I, I kind of deal with that. I kind of got to watch you know, and not being self-confident too. That's another thing, uh, that I just, just little things. Like, it's just different. It's your central nervous system. It's just a, you know, to people that haven't gotten off of benzo or never took it, the, some of the stuff might sound weird. Cause it's not like Suboxone where you're like, I'm lethargic. I'm sneezing. I have diarrhea. It's just like, it's very mental. It's yeah. That's the thing. Getting off the benzo. It's just, it's very, very mental. The only physical stuff I dealt with in the acute was some cramping, uh, and muscle spasms. Ah, oh, the exploding head, uh, head was pretty crazy. Actually. I will say that in the jerks at night, but it wasn't that bad though. It wasn't, you know, as it kind of got going, it was kind of scary at first. And then it was just like, oh, okay, this is just what it is. You know, it'll go away. And it did. Um, but, uh, crap. What was I saying? Post-acute withdrawals. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm just kind of in the desert right now. The post-acute withdrawals where, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not, I'll just, It'll just kind of iron it out. Like, and this is weird. And this is part of the depersonalization part. And I don't mean this to sound, how do I, like, you kind of don't know who you are, uh, if that makes sense. Like, I know I'm not right, but I, I kind of forgotten, like, what it's like to be right. You know what I mean? I, I hope that doesn't sound scary or, or stupid or just, but it, but it is, um, I don't know. Yeah. It's just, it's just weird. It's weird getting off the benzo, but it's fine. It's okay. It, it, you know, I get on here and I document stuff. Like one one person was thinks I shouldn't have posted that video, that negative video the other day. It looks like quite a bit of you uh, more are happy that I did, but that's what it is. That's what this is. Sorry, I, I'm I'm I have those days. I mean, I'm not gonna just get on here and pretend all the time. You know, uh, yeah, I might have sounded like a little bitch. Well, that's what I was being right there. That's what that's what it is. I'm not always this soldier ready to go. Like it sucks sometimes. It really, really sucks sometimes. And, uh, that's just what it is. But the goals in my, that's the thing. Just as, as I always say, it's like, there's never even a thought of going back to that kind of crap. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. We deal with it. We vent. We, you know what I mean? Uh, I need your guys' support too. When I'm having days like that, seriously, it helps me so much. Uh, anyway, sorry, but really, yeah, sorry. What, what I'm dealing with, dude, is, it, you guys know the stuff follow, dude. It's it's just the mental stuff. It, it really is. It's forgetting stuff and just the cognitive, just writing stuff and concentrating. And I already struggle with all that stuff. It just sucks. Then I get frustrated. I get frustrated. I was dealing with like anger stuff for a while. That hasn't been around lately because I've been, a, I've just been a little bit more down lately. I haven't really been, you know what I mean? Um, and I've been struggling. I have been struggling. You guys that follow know, you know, I've struggled with, uh, I've struggled with a lot of things lately. Uh, just, uh, not great decisions I've made. You know, I've 
I'm one of those people I get really, really, really dedicated to just doing all the right things, going all out, da 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 da, and then I can kind of fizzle out a little bit, and then I'll get back, and, and you know what I mean. And I, so I've kind of fizzled out recently, and I'm getting back into doing the right things. I've been been exercising. Uh, in fact, went with the fa we, me and the family went to uh, Silver Falls today. Beautiful place. In fact, I recorded a bunch of stuff. I'm putting together a video. I'll put it out there of just our little family day. Um, but uh, but yeah, exercising and stuff. Just getting back to doing the right things, eating right, and that's what I was, I'll get to, I guess, right now. I'm I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, but uh, no, there's I feel like there's more stuff I wanted to say, but I imagine that I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, the things that have been helping, I guess I mentioned it, dude, exercise and eating right and, and God reading my Bible. I mean, that is what keeps me going. You know, that's what, uh, I have purpose in my life, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, ha finding purpose in, in, you know, in your life after recovery. I mean, cause it's easy to slip up and maybe, maybe you don't relapse on what you're getting off of, but maybe you're slipping up on the, the little drugs or, or, you know, I mean, stuff maybe you don't want to do. Maybe you don't want to drink alcohol and you're kind of drinking some, you don't really want to use pot or use some gabapentin or you, you know, you're whatever it is, whatever it is, doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, we got to find purpose in this recovery and, and uh, get to the root of it. That's the thing. Get to the root of, uh, of, uh, of the problem, because as we know, like I use, because I just, yeah, I wanted to feel good. Who doesn't want to feel good? But, uh, there's things I was numbing. You know what I mean? I, I had an unforgiving heart. Um, I don't know. This isn't a psychologist freaking video or psychologist or a, <laughs> whatever. This isn't a therapy session. There we go. Uh, but there's anyway, there's just, there's things that we got to deal with at the root and, uh, it takes time. I don't know where I'm going with that, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, we all got to figure that out. We all have a different, we all, we're all different people. We have different recoveries. We have different bodies. We're going to, uh, you know, things are going to affect us differently. I'll be honest too. Maybe this, maybe I'm, I'm down in the dumps a little bit. Like the last, I don't even know how long now, a few weeks or a month now. I don't even know, but uh, I haven't been taking supplements. I just like ran out. I just haven't gotten them anymore. I can get like that. I can get real apathetic. Oh yeah. I've kind of, I've had apathy. You guys know that though. I know there's going to be people that watch this, this four month video, this guy off the clone pin, but uh, I documented the whole thing. Go back and watch some of the other ones too. But, um, I just kind of get like that. I get apathetic when I'm like, Oh, I'm out. I don't even feel like going to the store, even though it's not even very far from here. I'm just not going to go. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I guess if I feel bad enough, I will. I should probably go get some GABA. The supplement GABA helped me the most. Anyway, this is getting too long and I feel like it wasn't good. I didn't talk about everything I was going to talk about, but yeah. Dealing with things, not sleeping, some agitation sometimes though too. I will say not that bad, but God bless all y'all. Okay, V for victory and salute.